right, so happy Saturday! Oh my god, my handbrake's on so tight! You can tell my husband drove this last night. Um, we are now on the way to Mark's garage because Mark's car has now gone in. Oh, don't adjust your seat while driving. That's a good top tip for you. Um, I know, it's great, isn't it? You marry a mechanic and then within a couple of days, both your cars are out of action. Does anyone else have this? Like, are you married or are you with, a, I don't know, a, a painter and decorator yet you're living in a, in a shack or you're married to a computer geek but you have no internet and none of your computers work or I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one is what I'm asking. Um, so he's dropped his car off at the garage and to sort some stuff out. I'm now on my way to go and pick him up. Um, he hasn't actually chased me yet because I should have been there about ooh, 45 minutes ago. Um, but in true Emma style, I found other things I wanted to get done first, like strip bed and finish my vlog from last week and things that really shouldn't have taken priority, probably. Well, not probably, shouldn't have taken priority. But of course you're my priority! Um, I have a new wind mirror! They fixed it for me while I was in rugby. Um, and I actually have two new wind mirrors because although, obviously the accident the other day, there's only one that got ruined, um, when I first bought the car, I was gutted. I parked on the side of a road. Um, and when I came back, my other wind mirror had been completely smashed and no one had stopped or anything. Um, so I got a new glass in it at the time, but the actual case has been cracked ever since. Um, so while Mark was fixing this one, um, the other one got fixed as well. So that's, that's great. Um, we have then also discovered that from the accident the other day, I have got a scrape on my back wheel arch. Um, which is a real shame and I've still got the marks on my window so my window still needs replacing um, so I've still got that to do but at least I've got two wind mirrors so that's that's a positive um, I'm a bit confused by the weather it looks really grey looks like it's going to chuck it down but it's actually right so off we go again we actually got really cut off earlier because um, my husband decided to ring me to see where I was, which I was surprised he hadn't done that already because <laughs> I was sli running slightly behind. We actually met um, Helen and Jamie for lunch. So we've had lunch, we went and saw um, someone we know is launching a business, a restaurant in Boxham. So we went and had a look around the building site there um, and I should be doing some bits and bobs for him. Um, so I needed to chat to him about that. Uh, I've just dropped Mark back off at home so he can listen to the football because Norwich are at home today. And I'm now going to nip into the city to take back them pale pink um, Rockstar, uh, Rockstar shoes, which were slightly too big and I've got a pair of shoes fairly similar. Um, so I'll go and do that because I'm hoping it's four o'clock. So the city will still be open but I'm hoping it'll be fairly quiet which is the plan, so we'll see what Primark has in store well, this week. that was week. officially a waste of time. Um, I did take back the shoes, so that was quite successful, but normally I come out then with extra things from Primark, and I came out with one present for my stepmom for Mother's Day. Um, I've got a pair of slippers for her, so I need to send them off in a week. Um, I had a quick look in Poundland as well. Who knew that they've got a clothing range now, but I'm not sure how well that's going to take off, because they're not a pound. There are some things there that are like, eight nine pounds and i'm not sure people are going to pay that in poundland but well i could be wrong we'll see we'll see um but i am now in the car ready to go home and i'm thinking i've got washing to do i've got some work to do this is what true procrastination looks like um and some dusting um so maybe i'll hopefully get that done this evening and tomorrow morning before lunch at lovely mum's morning so one of the things I did buy um, when in London last week was a Bare Minerals um, starter kit because it was recommended to me by Louise Mims when I went to You and Your Skin tutorial um, and it just feels a lot or looks natural. Now when the lady did it to me in the store in Debenhams on Tottenham Court Road, um, no it wasn't Oxford Street, it looked amazing, absolutely flawless, you would never know it was powder and not liquid. I thought, wow, I have to get myself some of this. Now I then tried it the next day, and I don't know if it's because the brush in the pack is pretty small in your starter kit, or just bad lighting, or just, 
losing patience, I don't know, but I looked horrendous when I tried it the next day, to the point where I had to take it off, and just, I've been wearing my normal stuff ever since. So, as it's a Sunday morning, so I've got a bit more time on my hands, and I've got my bigger Real Techniques brush here, I'm going to give this another go, and I'll let you know. But if any of you do use this, please let me know how you find it, and what, you know, how it, how it works, how, what's, is there a technique to it, um, because I really am interested in, and I want this to work, but I just can't seem to make it. And the conclusion is, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I don't know. Not for me. Nah, that's better. Nah. That bear me roll stuff, not for me. Hi! So, Monday morning. It's been a busy one so far. I've already dropped Mark off at work, come back, got ready. I've actually got um, some hours that I had to take from work. So I'm off today. Um, oh, God, I have breath. Um, we are now on our way to Aylsham um, because... I'm not sure if I've mentioned it before, but I do some work, um, volunteering work, for a charity, which is very close to my heart, um, and it's something that I will explore some other time a bit more fully, but it's a really exciting day for the charity today. Um, we're opening a charity shop, um, so I'll hopefully get some, it's our first permanent charity shop, so it's really big news for us happens to be in Elsham, just a coincidence. So I'm heading back over there today, never away from the place lately. Um, and I, well there will be a, a, a more in-depth video about it some other time, not just yet. We're just not ready, just not yet. Um, so that's exciting. And then I am going to see someone else with regards a restaurant in Wroxham. He wants some help. Um, so I'm then gonna go and see him also called Mark um, and then Jamie and Helen are also going to help Mark this restaurant Mark um, with some other bits and bobs I'm hopefully meeting up with them too um, and then I would like to go and see um, there's a shop in Reefham but I'm not sure whether I'm going to have time to be perfectly honest but I'd really like to go um, so we're just going to have to see how things pan out today but we're now on our way to Welsham so I'll show you when we get there and this is what I'm here for <laughs> Yay. so that's done so now on to errands before I run and meet Mark Ames so next stop is post office all these because you saw what my spare room was like the other day and I've actually managed to get rid of quite a lot of stuff so off we go hard and everything day can you see it absolutely chucking it down I thought my windscreen wipers were gonna fly off at one point um so since I last seen you we I've finished over in Rakeef I then met up with Helen and Jamie again um, and actually went over to Reefham and I thought to take you in because I went and visited a shop called the green room which um, is something I'd heard about actually on Facebook I'd seen and I wanted to go and visit um, so I'll tell you more about that, but I did um, pick up some goodies from there. Only a couple of things, I was very, very good. Um, but I've now come to St Faith's just to meet him for a quick drink. Um, and then I need to be on the way by four, because I need to get home, because we've then got parents, even with Becky. So I am here. Can you see, I'm at the Black Swan at St Faith's. So I'm now going to run in and have a quick drink. Morning! Well, there's a first time for everything, but I'm actually running 
slightly early this morning. So before I left, I thought I'd quickly show you the bits and bobs I got from a place called The Green Room yesterday. Now The Green Room is somewhere I just saw on Facebook and um, it sells second hand. So in my mind, that's a charity shop. But I like charity shops, that's fine. Um, I'm sure they don't want to be known as that. Uh, what was it? Second hand boutique or something like that. Um, but they only deal in designer goods. Now it's in a place called Reefham in Norwich. Now I'm going to go and see if I can do a proper review and go back by. It was in the rain. So I quickly dashed in, had a look around with um, Helen and left again. Um, so I forgot to actually take it because there was just too much going on. But I did grab a couple of pieces. So I just wanted to quickly show you. So the first one is this gorgeous coloured kind of mustardy it's almost greeny mustard i want to say newborn baby poo but i don't think that really is um the official title but it's from wallace it was 10 pounds but it just hangs really nicely and i think with navy that will go beautiful so i managed to get that um i also picked up a dress from jewels which is a little snug right now but um i'm thinking that we could wear this for um little baby marcy's christening but it's not been booked yet so i have got time to, to squeeze in this um but yeah it's just a pencil dress from jewels um v-neck crossover which for someone who's got a lot slightly larger chest like me really flattering um in great condition and this was 20 pounds um, so even online, on they're going for about £40, £50, pounds, um, brand new, so £20, pounds, and it looks like it's been like worn once, perhaps for a wedding, and then never worn again. So that, I was pretty chuffed with. Um, so like I say, I'll speak to the owner, see if we can do a proper review, and go back and visit. Um, but I just wanted to show you the bits and bobs I got yesterday. Say morning! Say morning world! Time for a breakfast! Well, I am on a roll today. I'm not quite sure what happened, is it? Maybe it's the sun. Maybe that's made a difference. Not sure, but it is quarter past eight. So I'm well on time, if not early. I've so far put washing on, filmed a little bit of extra clothing. Not, I mean, really, it wasn't a load of extra filming, but I filmed a little bit extra, tidied the living room, made some lunch, put some washing on, and got Georgie Porgie up and fed him too. And I'm now still early. Amazing! I don't know what's happening. It must be the sunshine. I have grabbed my mat coat today, but at the moment it's showing at seven degrees, but it feels really warm, so I might not even need it. Sunnies are on, so today is gonna be a good day. Um, I got George up early. I feel quite bad getting him up and feeding him and then leaving him for the day. However, last night, he was being a bit of a tinker in that because we we actually went to parents evening last night with Becky and she done very well um sorry someone just pulled straight out in front of me that's not on that's not cool don't ruin my good day um she done very very well very pleased but by the time I got back it was about seven so it wasn't ultra late but then we did tea and then I got Georgie Porgy up and fed him but by the time I was exhausted again yesterday because I've been running around all day and I still don't feel like I'm quite caught up from the hectic week last week. So when I wanted to go to bed at half ten, did George want to go to bed? Did he? Heck. Oh my lord. Every time, normally you put him on the, the um, kind of the ramp up to his little house and he knows then that that's bedtime. Every time I put him on there, he'd go up into his house, turn around, come back down again. He was then, he's got a thing for red because he loves strawberries. Strawberries are his favourite food ever, um, which to a tortoise, that's like chocolate. Um, but I had my red checkered pyjama bottoms on. So when I was sitting on the floor with him, like helping him finish his tea, he just kept coming for my legs and trying to bite my legs, thinking that they were strawberries. So he was then chasing me round and then again trying to put him back to bed. He'd turn around, he'd come back out. So eventually, I think it was about 11, but I guess for him, I mean in the summer, he can get really bad of actually getting himself up in the middle of the night and crashing and banging around downstairs. Um, so we're not quite at that stage. Um, 
But yeah, half an hour of trying to get a tortoise to bed wasn't fun last night when you're tired. So I took the executive decision of the Jones household to get him up earlier and he's quite happily munching his breakfast and he can have a wander around the house. Um, hopefully it'll be warm so the sun might then come through the window for him which would be nice. He can get a proper, some proper sunlight um, and hopefully have a bit of a nice day and then tonight he'll be tired out enough to go to bed and not want to have a riot which would be nice. Um, what am I up to today? I don't know what my work diary is like. Um, I've refrained from looking at my diary because I did end up doing some work on Sunday. Um, so I'm really trying just to, to rein back my days to the days that I, you know, that I'm meant to be working. Um, so I don't actually know what my diary looks like. Tuesdays tend to be pretty hectic. Um, but we will see. I have got lunch. Um, with someone from the charity today, so that'll be good. Nice to have a catch up, make some plans. Um, and that is about it. I'm meant to be seeing my friend, or I did talk about potentially popping around my friends tonight. Um, however, to be honest, I feel like I need, I need an evening to recharge. And I'm out on Thursday, I'm out on Friday. I think the wise thing to do is if I could postpone her. I'll have to message her and see if she minds. Um, because there comes a point in your life, perhaps I'm just getting to that age, where I am now evaluating what is good for me. And I need to take into consideration my health and well-being. And running around for everyone else is not always great for my health and well-being. Um, so I think potentially I need to have an evening in don't get me wrong I'll probably end up, well there is no probably I have got some extra work to be doing so no doubt I'll be working but at least I can be at home in my pajamas I can have an earlier night um, and we'll see but I hope you all have a lovely Tuesday too in the sunshine I hope it is brightening your day too and we'll see where today takes us Hello. so happy Wednesday Oh, can't even get it in gear this morning. Come on. Yes. Um. Today I've had a quite a productive morning again. Sorry, I didn't film any more yesterday. Um. I didn't really actually do anything exciting, which is why. Um. What did I do? I popped into ASDA to get some fuel. However, I did get some fancy bathroom scales because I had a voucher. Um. So I'll show you that. I also picked up a couple of little accessory bits. Um and just some usual Mother's Day cards and that kind of thing. Um, this morning I've been quite productive again. So I've already been up in the loft. I've got, I buy presents as and when I see them, which everyone always laughs. So it could mean that I buy Christmas presents in February, but it works for me. So leave me to it, I'm happy. Um, so I've been hunting all morning. I know I bought a Mother's Day mug for my mum ages ago. I saw it and thought of her and I remember thinking, oh, I can give her to that, give her that at Mother's Day. Can I find it? Can I? Heck, I've been up in the loft. I've searched the spare room, both spare room wardrobes. I've been on top of the wardrobes because that's where I keep all my presents for, for people in boxes. So I've had all the boxes out not there either the only other place it could be is under the bed and spare in the big spare room so I'll have a look at there later if not I have ordered mum something I just hope it arrives in time but it's also Helen's birthday on Friday so I got out her presents it was my friend Emma's birthday on Saturday so I got out her presents to wrap and then with me today I've got my stepmum's Mother's Day present with some wrapping paper so I can pop to the post office um, at lunchtime because I've got to obviously post that out to Malta um, I've gone curly fried today because I was getting a bit worried about my hair. I put some oil on the ends last night because it was appearing to look quite dry. And even when I look back on footage, you can see my hair getting flatter and lanker and lanker. And I think it's because I'm straightening it every day, um, which isn't great. And it's, it has grown a bit now, so I don't look as much like a poodle. So that's always a benefit. Um, so yeah, I've just gone for the relaxed, natural, oh natural curls today. 
also whacked on a bit of Lottie London just because I found it so I thought I'd put it on um, what else did I do last night we dropped mum's car back Mark fixed mum's car so that's the other thing so again it, it just wasn't very interesting so so sorry about that um, I'm trying to think if I've actually done anything interesting today mm, no I don't think so um, but we will Morning. see so I ran out of bat um, not battery I ran out of memory yesterday so I couldn't really vlog anymore sorry about that um i'm off to the hospital for a meeting and then i think i'm going to be running around norwich today it just seems to have been how my my day has panned out and um, tonight i've got a really exciting event it's a makeup event at um, a restaurant in norwich called the sugar beet um and it's with a makeup artist called louise oh no no that's a lie she's called holly lulu holly not louise Holly. Um, so in typical fashion, obviously you want to go to a makeup event with good makeup on, but my makeup has gone on shockingly this morning. I feel cakey, I feel orange, so I have just cleaned out my beauty blender. Well it's not a beauty blender at all, it's the Real Techniques version. Um, and that seems to have washed up quite well with the baby shampoo, so hopefully tomorrow my makeup will be fine. Um, it's just typical that today it's not. Um, I've also added on some powder because I'm pretty much going straight out after work. I might have time, if I can, I'm going to try anyway, to knit back home and quickly just put on a fresh pair of jeans and a top rather than going in my work gear. Um, but I'm meeting my friend Louise, which is where I had Louise on the brain, for tea beforehand at half past five. So it's going to be pretty tight. But I'm hoping to take you with me because I think it's going to be a really good event. So we will see. Here's a tip for you, if ever you want a coffee at the hospital, go to Cafe Pure. Because it's the best coffee around. Right, on the way back from the hospital, I've actually just quickly popped down Riverside because I want to get some birthday cards and there's a card factory. And there's also, I want to get one of them washing up scrubbers with a tube on. If I can find it, I'll show you what I mean. That's officially useless, so now on to Poundland. Let's see what they've got. So Poundland didn't have what I wanted either. However, I did come out with some bits and bobs, so I will show you them when we get back. But um, while I'm here, I'm just going to run into B&M, see if they've got it. What I'm after is, you know the washing sponges? You used to be able to buy washing sponges with like a tube on, and you'd put in your washing up liquid, um, and then do your washing up that way. I don't actually want it for washing up, I want it for my bathroom, because I think this could be a good way to clean your bathroom as you go along, rather than having to, you know, do it once a week. Because it is the bane of my life, I hate cleaning the bathroom, so I'm trying to find other ways. Um, I've other, also picked up some other cleaning bits and bobs, so not sure how interesting it'll be for you but some people might be into it like me but i'm just going to dash into b&m and then it's home success in b&m with the uh washing up stick jobby so now home um i picked up a boots meal deal so i'm not see sad times isn't it sad times when you've got to pick up a meal deal to actually eat at home not great um so dash home eat that do some emails, I'll show you what I've got, and then it is back in the car to go to Bothorp because I'm doing some recording there a bit later. Um, but I'll take my change of outfit actually, I think, for this evening because I'm then kind of going to be over the right side of the city. So if I can try and end my day over that way and get changed somewhere, um, that'll work out a hell of a lot better. So, home time! I, while I was in down Riverside, I popped into some shops. I was just going to quickly show you what I did get. So the first one I went into was um, B and M, and it's going to be a really, really boring adult haul. But hey ho, that's life. But I picked up these two um, scrubbing brushes. So one has got a brush on the end, the other has got a sponge, um, and then you've got a tube which is attached, which you're meant to fill with washing up liquid because they're meant to be for washing dishes. However, what I want to use them for is if I can get some sucker pads um, to either then suck them to the wall or perhaps I'll just have to pop them up against the bar somewhere. Um, I can then clean once I've had a shower in the morning. Um, so I can then try and keep up to date with the cleaning because I hate cleaning the bathroom. That is the bane of my life. It's the worst area of the house to clean. I think well, certainly for me, I don't know about anyone else. I just, it's very satisfying, but I don't like doing it. Um, so I'm thinking, and this might actually also encourage the husband to do it, which would be really handy. 
Um, the other thing I also picked up from Neil Perrins, which is very adult of me, um, picked up from Liam Perrins, picked up from B&M, was a bottle of Liam Perrins, a big bottle like that. So this is 568 ml. Normally they're only the little bottles and they're about £1.20, £1.30 normally. This was £1.99 for all of this. Look, it's bigger than my head. How amazing is that? So although we don't need it just yet, when I saw it, I thought, oh, that would be perfect. Put that in the food cupboard and then it's ready. Because I like to put it in things like bolognese and chilli. It just gives a nice little kick. Um, or even, actually, as it is on top of kind of like a tuna and pasta bake, like my mum used to make. Um, but I love it. Um, something that's a bit more exciting for you was an eyeshadow palette. So I've been after this. I got in the nude when I last went there and then this was sat on its own um, it had been opened but from what I can tell it's only just to look at the colours none of the things were smudged or anything on the inside so this I'll show you is very similar or oh, I'm not sure if we're allowed to use the word dupe anymore um, very similar to the Naked number no. 2 palette um, so I've been after this for a while. This was a bargain price of £4.99 in B&M, which I've recently discovered do um, make up. Do music? I think they might do actually as well. Do make up, um, and I've shown that in a video before. So well worth it. Look, see if you're after that. Um, and that's all I got from B&M. I then went to Poundland, where, again, very adult, I picked up some magic erasers. Now I'll give this a go and I'll let you know. Um, but supposedly these are meant to clean your oven like no tomorrow. Like no streaks, no smears and it cuts through grease. Um, so originally these are used for getting things like pens off walls if your kids decide to, to draw on the walls. Not that I have that trouble. but um, So I picked up that you got two for a quid um, and I believe you can then cut them in half or cut them up so you don't have to use the whole sponge as one. Um, so we'll give that a go and I'll let you know but again a, a very adult purchase. Um, again I also picked up a massive bottle of balsamic vinegar because again this is normally about two quid in the shops. So this was a pound, um, this is 500 ml so again a, a big bottle and I also again like to put it in things like bolognese and um, shepherd's pie, things like that, but it's also great as a salad dressing. Um, for in their Mother's Day section, I picked up some bits and bobs for a ham picket. So you can get, they have the ham picket, so in there you get um, the acetate sheet, the ribbon, some bow, and some tissue paper. They were also sent us separately these kind of shredded paper, so I picked up one purple, one pink. And two kits of these. Now I'm not actually planning on using this um, for Mother's Day. I wasn't doing a hamper but for the sake of a quid I thought they were perfect to kind of keep ready and use for the future. The final couple of bits I got from Poundland were complete impulse purchases and they always say you should never go shopping when you're hungry and that was a pack of double deckers although these are actually quite small they're not the full size ones and as you can see I've already had one um, I also picked up some fizzy laces because I love fizzy laces and when I saw them I was like, I've put them on a basket I don't even really know why it's just one of them typical things isn't it really uh, is there anything else? no, there's nothing else in Poundland um, the other night I went to Asda um, and I got some sparkly um, scales which are actually upstairs and I can't be bothered to go and get you them so I'll show you that next time I'm upstairs. But I also picked up two pieces of jewellery. Now the first is a necklace which I'm hoping to wear tonight at the um, makeup event and it's rose gold, I don't know if you see it, with some sparkly diamantes. The middle bit spins round and it's threaded through on a rose gold chain. This was £5. Now it's pretty much identical to one in Pandora that I've seen and I believe it's about £60. I'll link it to down below. So when I saw this I was mega excited and just had to have it. And then hanging nearby, I don't need them but I really like them so I got them anyhow and they were three quid. So I thought oh why not, it's nearly, pa nearly payday tomorrow. Um, these rose gold leaf sparkly earrings so again I might wear them tonight but they might be a bit much if I wear this as well and, and this for me is a priority 
Um, so that is all I got from my route around Riverside a little while ago. I also wanted um, a 30th birthday card and a birthday card for Helen on Friday, but I haven't actually just found one I like yet, which is really annoying. I've been in several shops now, and, and for both the occasions, I've not found one I actually like. But hopefully, um, once I've finished work this afternoon, I might have time to quickly nip into Sainsbury's. And now I love Sainsbury's cards. Everyone joke laughs at me, but I do. Um, I think they can do some really nice, stylish cards. But we'll see. And then once I've used the cleaning products, I'll let you know what they're like too. You know it's going to be a good night when you're getting ready in Sainsbury's public toilets. However, in the last 10 minutes, anything that could have gone wrong did. So not only did I walk into the men's toilets to find two men peeing, because I've gone into the wrong toilet. Nice one, Emma. Um, I then had sprayed perfume and got it on my top, so I've now got a mark on my top for tonight. Oh, and it's my new one, which I'm sure come out of the wash, but otherwise it's even going to look like I've got really sweaty boobs. Oh, hopefully it'll fade. I don't know. I don't want to put water on it and make it worse. Um, but outfit for this evening. So I've got a navy blazer, I've got the lime green top, which I got from the green room, quite fitting, um, on Monday from Wallace. I'm wearing navy jeans and then on my feet, which I can't show you, they're just my normal brown boots because I'm trying to do smart casual. And then also wearing my new necklace from Asda, um, which I got the other day and I showed you earlier. Oh, and I got lipstick on my feet. Mm. How much more can go wrong? Um, so I'm now going to get my stuff, have a quick whiz round Sainsbury's because it's 10 past 5 and I'm meeting new at half past 5. Um, and then it's time for the evening, hopefully it's going to be better than what the last 15 minutes have been. So I'm here, still got a stain on my top, um, so I'm now going to go in because it's a bit chilly um, and get some grub because I am stuck. home from the event and it was so good so so good holly is just lovely absolutely lovely and believe it or not the foundation that she was using was their minerals so i completely confessed to her um, exactly what i said earlier on this vlog of i hate this it's just it's not working for me i look horrendous and yet again on the model that she used it on tonight it looked amazing you would never know really nice I went with um, Lulu and her sister came along as well and she's really nice too so it was lovely to meet her we had a bit to eat um, and then it was the makeup tutorial um, which was yeah really good and learned about some new products and um, the difference in how some products are made um, and it really did give me some food for thought it also has spent quite a bit of my money already that I've not got for my pay packet yet yeah, until tomorrow because there's some products that I really really want to buy um, but I did also get a goodie bag so let's have a look and see what's in there I've got a goodie bag from the event and on the front is um, Holly's business card so you can you can see her there if ever you're, you're inside interested. we did get some um, they were like <laughs> um, candy kittens they were called they remind me of um, oh god what are them little cats that you used to get Hello Kitty, is it Hello Kitty? Um, I thought they were Haribo strawberries, so I was a bit disappointed when they were actually watermelon. But they still tasted good, and I'm really sorry, but the, yeah, they're all gone now. Um, we've then got, I think it was a voucher. Oh, I think one handed. Come on, yes, which is for five pound off your next appointment. Um, so that's great. Um, I also. 
got some Bare Minerals information. Which, that's okay, I've already got a starter kit, I'm ready to go. Um, another business card for, for Holly. I've got a Paco Ray-Ban sample. We'll see what that smells like in a bit. Also, she got each of us. Um, oh, there was a raffle. I didn't win. Um, but there's my ticket. Um, a D or one minute perfecting face mask. There's a sample. And she also got each one of us a MUA lipstick. It was brand new. It's just that I took it off um, to swatch it. So if I swatch it again on my hand there you are that's the colour it's a really nude it's actually called nude I think or is it called in bear it is called bear um, and Holly was saying that they're only like a pound um, so MUA is available from Superdrug not from Boots but it is available from Superdrug and it's a really it's coming out actually a lot darker on the camera than it is on my hand but she did actually use this colour on the model um, and then with a MAC lip gloss over the top so I'll also give that a try. So all in all a really good night um, I've got an early start tomorrow I've got a breakfast meeting at half past seven over on the other side of the city so I'm going to need to leave home probably about quarter to seven time and um, just allow myself plenty of time so I'm now going to make myself a cup of tea it's about 20 to 11 I'm um, going to make myself a cup of tea, put my gym jams on, kind of have a chat with Mark for a bit because I've obviously not seen him all day. Um, and yeah, and then get an early night. And then tomorrow is Friday. Woohoo! End of the week. And then finally, it's the weekend. Morning! So, guess what? Guess what the time is? Look at this. 20 past 7. <laughs> 20 past 7 and I'm up, I'm dressed, I'm ready and I'm at Costa at Sweetbriar because I've actually, um, I had mentor meetings um, with someone that I know um, and because we both work they happen to occur at half past 7 in the morning so that's what I'm here for, um, I can see her car so I'm going to pop in in a second because she's obviously already here um, I'm trying a new makeup look today so thanks to Holly last night I've got lip liner, liquid lipstick and a gloss over the top which has taken me back to when I was about eight um and wasn't allowed like lipstick um i'm actually quite liking the look also no eyeliner no eyeliner on the bottom no eyeliner on the top which for me is quite radical um instead i've um i learned how to properly put eyeshadow in the eye sockets and make the eyes wider and i line the eyes with a darker eyeliner so i'm, I'm actually quite pleased with the look how this will work later on in the day we will see. I wasn't brave enough to use my bare minerals. I didn't feel I had enough time in case it went wrong again. Um, but tomorrow I will. So I think I'm actually going to continue this vlog until tomorrow just so you can see the final result of, fingers crossed, it actually works after my, I hate bare minerals, earlier in the week. It'll, um, it'll finish off nicely. But right, I'm now going to go in for a coffee. Hello, so I'm back home now. Meeting went well, so I'm back home and it's only 20 past 8 in the morning. Um, so I've got some time before I need to leave. I've got a meeting in the city today, um, so I can leave home a little bit later and then I'll go up to Aylsham. So while I've got some time, it's actually Helen's birthday today. I did manage to get a couple of cards from Sainsbury's last night, so I finally got the ones that I was hunting for. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I've got her actually because it's kind of a bit of a DIY present now I like doing these um, Just because I think they're a bit more personalized and I like thinking about the person So I just thought well, I'll show you what I've done and it might inspire you to do something similar um, And I might even do a blog post on this actually because there's been a few that I've done So now. this is what I've got her and um, these mugs like I said I always buy presents well in advance bits and bobs so these mugs actually as they were doing at Christmas and you um so Helen loves penguins so I've got her this and again early on in the year Primark were doing these so the mug was £1.50 Helen stop watching this if you're watching um mug was £1.50 this was a pound um what was that £1.52 either way I just think it's a really nice idea so especially now she's had Marcy and she's got two little ones I thought it'd be nice to do her a bit of like a, a pamper a bit of Helen time 
Um, I did these kiln the jar ideas at Christmas from my mum and my sister to help them unwind and relax. So these are actually from Ikea. Actually, I think I got them from Ikea when I went with Helen and Jamie. Um, so these were about £2. I'm not sure. I'll check the price and I'll um, show you on the screen and I'll link them down below. You can actually get smaller ones, but this is kind of a medium size. And then in it, I've got a bath fizzer in the shape of a penguin. Um, I've got a nail buffer. This is a face cloth, which I actually got from um, when I went to you and yours uh, skin event the other week. I've got two, so I've, I've still using one, but I've given one to Helen. Um, I've then got two White Lily Sanctuary Spa products. Um, you can buy these from the, like, the little travel section because um, it's pointless. You can obviously give them big ones, but I just happen to have some little ones. And I've also got a Sanctuary Spa pink um, night mask, like sleep mask to try and help her relax. I just want to get her a face mask. So I do that before I wrap it all up and put it in a gift bag. And I've also only got some wrapping paper, so um, I actually need a gift bag for that. But I just think that's quite a nice personalised idea. Um, the other present I've got to wrap is for my other friend who turned 30 on Saturday and she loves Ghost. So I actually got this in the Christmas sale with Emma in mind because um, I knew that she'd like this. So I had this put away for either her birthday or Christmas, but her birthday's come first. So she's got this. So I can wrap that too, right? So earlier on in the vlog, you would have seen me talking about their minerals and I slated it. I hated it. Couldn't seem to work it. Um, and was then going to stick it on eBay to flog it to someone else and I was just going to stick to my normal liquid um, but after the beauty event on Thursday Holly was showing us uh, like a technique and how to do it, and I think that's where I was going wrong um, and the final effect on the girl that she was trying it on was just amazing so um, after her guidance and I'm going to use exactly the same brush that Holly used on Thursday which is the Real Techniques um, Buffing brush I'm gonna give this another shot so fingers crossed it works out okay